Cystic fibrosis is a lethal genetic disease that clogs the lungs with thick, sticky mucus, making it difficult to breathe. It affects over 40,000 people in the U.S. and at least 100,000 worldwide. Key breakthroughs to CF research have come from Michael Welch, who uncovered the disease's cellular basis, Jesus Tito Gonzalez, who created crucial elements of the drug discovery system, and Paul Negulescu, who led the development of a new generation of drugs that tackled the root causes of CF. Thanks to their work, we now have a powerful treatment for most people with CF. After the CF gene was uncovered in 1989, Welsh's team identified its protein product, CFTR, as a chloride ion channel in the cell membrane. In the most common CF mutation, the CFTR protein misfolds and the cell's quality control system targets it for destruction. Without functional CFTR at the membrane, cells can't move chloride ions and water properly leading to a thick buildup of mucus in the lungs. Welsh noticed that incubating cells containing defective CFTR at low temperature allowed some of the faulty protein to reach the membrane and work, if just partially. This clue hinted that the protein wasn't completely broken, and maybe, with some help, it could be rescued. In the late 1990s, this prompted a small San Diego biotech company, Aurora Biosciences, to develop high-volume screening technology for molecules that could do just that. This program, funded by the CF Foundation and led by Paul Negulescu, aimed to find small molecules that could help CFTR reach the membrane or boost its function in other ways. Tito Gonzalez and his team developed the technology for this search with innovative cell-based assays using voltage-sensitive dyes that were highly sensitive to CFTR activity. By automating much of this process, they could supercharge drug discovery, screening thousands of molecules a day to flag candidates for further investigation. The work continued after Aurora was acquired by Vertex in 2001. The first approved treatment came in 2012, a single potentiator called Ivacaftor, which helped a small group of people with CF. Dual therapies soon followed, but the real breakthrough came in 2019 with the approval of Trikafta, a triple combination of two correctors and one potentiator. The results from this combination therapy were astounding. People with the most common CFTR mutation, about 90% of those with CF, improved overnight in their lung function and long-term quality of life. Thanks to the work of Welsh, Gonzalez, Negolescu, and their teams, these therapies have transformed CF from a lethal disease into a manageable condition, with most patients now expected to live well into adulthood.